All right, guys, uh, this is uh, Unleashed Outdoors. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick uh, pre-season review of my brand new Crown Royal 7400E gasification outdoor wood boiler. Um, just picked up this unit here uh, this summer. Uh, my neighbor and I both got one. He got the 73, I got the 74. Um, we actually took a trip up to uh, Green Tech Manufacturing and met the owners and some of the workers, the fabricators there, had a good time. Um, Got to tour the plant, see how these things were made. Did a lot of research this year, um, and, and we decided that this was the best unit for multiple reasons. Uh, number one was probably its rugged build. Uh, 10 gauge stainless steel tank and water jacket, quarter inch uh, stainless door frames. Um, thing weighs over 3,000 pounds. Lots of refractory, very heavy duty built. Um, class A stainless steel chimney, simple controls. Um, so far, um, impressed. Not hooked up. This is not where the boiler goes. The boiler is actually, uh, you can see where my pipes are coming out of the ground right over there. Um, and I will be heating uh, over 7,000 square feet uh, with this boiler. So, let's uh, start the review. First, uh, giant firebox. Uh, big firebox, deep case door, extra insulation panel. So there's actually an air gap here with an extra insulation panel. It's gonna cut down on condensation um, around the door frame. Uh, nice silicone gasket, rope gasket, uh, nice quarter inch thick steel plate door, um, big loading door, tall, narrow, tall firebox, which is good for a gasification boiler because your fire is actually down below in the gas chamber, so the wood has to fall down on top of each other. So I really like this design. I really like these panels. These are 10 gauge panels, okay? 10 gauge stainless panels. They all sit on a, a separate hook, not to intrude um, with the firebox overall design. Not gonna put any stress on the firebox walls. Some manufacturers have rails welded top and bottom. I don't like that design. I really like this simple uh, single hook design. For, for each curtain. Um, the furnace comes with uh, float level stainless steel um, and also your LED light here for the top. Um, this is your reaction chamber down here. I have taken out uh, the blast plate, I'll call it, uh, the heat shield plate. This is uh, almost three inches of uh, refractory, about 20 pound heat shield that sets in here to protect the door frame. Um, you know, biggest thing on a gasification boiler is the door frame, uh, the door frames, any boiler. Door frames need to be built rugged and they need to take a lot of consideration into how they're building these as to protect the door frame. I really like Crown's idea um, with, this, with this door plate here. Um, I really like how they uh, put this blast plate in uh, to keep the heat off of the door frame. Um, it may not be the most convenient, but I feel it's definitely the most effective uh, means. So that slides in there. There's your uh, refractory channel. Uh, that is your combustion zone there. That's primary or secondary chamber. Uh, so your fire takes place here, wraps around, shoots to the back, and then up the, up the uh, heat exchange tubes in the back. Um, so give you a front, front look at this here. This is this unit is rated for seven to ten thousand square feet. And like I said, I'm going to be heating a little over seven thousand with two buildings, both home and business, using domestic water. So we're going to put it to the test. That's for sure. Um, let's go around here. Simple controls. Ranko, or uh, I'm sorry, this is uh, Emerson um, Digital Aquastat. Simple controls. Light on, uh, fan or furnace on. You got your load switch. So when you come out to load, you press that, and for a hundred seconds, it's going to turn on the fan and suck all the air out of the combustion chamber. Okay. Here is your shaker handle. Okay. This is for your this is for your heat exchange tubes. Very simple. Right at the loading door. I really like that. If you come around to the back, this is where this furnace, in my opinion, stands alone from the rest. Um, you have a very heavy duty combustion fan here. Um, and, and again, you got a um, very easy open load access door uh, here. Here's the heat exchange area where the tubes are. You got 24 heat exchanger tubes, uh, most in the industry for lots of heat transfer. Um, giant fan motor that weighs, I'd probably say at least 20 pounds. This is not your everyday uh, Dayton fan. Um, simple 
simple air combustion box, solenoid driven. This is where your primary and secondary air comes in. Um, and then down here, you also have a rear hatch that goes right underneath the heat exchange tubes, um, you know, for clean out. Uh, you got two one and a quarter inch supply and return ports top and bottom as you can see I'm gonna be hooking in three sets of lines So I've started to build a manifold uh, for my line sets um, But overall really like the furnace design just wanted to give everybody uh, You know an update before going into the season my my review overall uh, Obviously, let's see this thing run. Let's put it to the test which we will but overall the ruggedness of this stove as a homeowner and somebody that's had heat masters and heat mowers and a lot of different furnaces over the years, this stove, as far as durability, really stands alone. Um, these are big components. These are heavy duty built, uh, thick steel. Um, just everything's heavy duty. I mean, look at that fan motor, you know? I mean, little things like that that really stand this unit alone, so. Uh, one more look at that big sucker. It's about eight feet long, four feet wide, and six feet tall. Well, it's a big stove. It's a Crown Royal Pristine Series 7400E. Thank you.